welcome back and in this video we'll be adding a level into the game and we'll be adding collision detection so that the tanks don't just bump into each other and also don't bump into the level's objects so let's begin to get started we're going to be going to the backdrop and importing a brand new level and the link for this level is in the description it's just the level one level and as you can see the tanks already fit them perfectly from the coordinates we used before so they'll just reset in these positions so if we start off with our player one tank we'll go to the variables actually we'll create a brand new block and we're going to call this block block detect collision and what this block does is it creates a brand new block and whatever we define under this define block will take place in this detect collision block and we want to make sure if we can edit this and make sure to run this without screen refresh so now we'll just click ok and what we'll do is put a detect collision block under each move block and we want to detect this collision every time we move so now let's start writing the code for this detect collision block so we'll go to the control and select an if else statement and we'll say if and then bring an or statement and say touching and we'll and then we're going to select the inner color of the box not the out color and that's good now that we've selected it and then we want to look if we're touching that color or if we're touching player to tank since we're in the player one code and then we'll go to the code we've created before which is this set old x player one and set old y player one and we'll just bring this out and take it out and put it in this else statement and then we'll go to motion and make it go to the old player one X and the old player one old player old Y player one. And this is what we're doing here is looking if we touch the brown or the tank, then we'll go back to the old position. And if we're not, we'll just set the old position as where we are currently. And this will ensure that if we look here, we don't go past the box. So we can touch the outskirts of it, but we cannot like go past it. And that's what we're doing with this collision. So now we're also going to do something to ensure that we don't rotate around these, this um, block, like the inside, we don't go inside it by rotating. And to do that, we'll just duplicate this um, if else statement and use a forever loop and to do this we'll say forever if touching the inside color or the player to tank instead of going to the old player one X or Y we're going to make it point in a certain direction and we're going to create a brand new variable called old direction for player one and we can do the same for old direction player two and then we're going to set the old direction for player one to the direction it is in now and if we do end up touching it then we want to set it to old direction player one and we can do this when flag or not flag but when I receive play um and that should be it for this now let's look if we can if this works now we can we don't we can't rotate like inside it yeah this works so we, now we can't do two weird things and that's really it for this rotation of the tank let's just reset it and remove the variables from the screen and all we'll do is drag in this to the 
red tink and just separate this so we can edit it and what we'll do is change this to old direction player 2 and old direction player 2 and change this touching player 2 tink to player 1 tink and then change this to player 1 tink as well and change this to old x player 2 and old y player 2 and change this to old x player 2 and old y player 2 and that should work fine and yeah that should work fine and after that what we need to do is bring in this detect collision block and go to where we're moving the tank which is right over here and we can just put one under here and one under here under where under here and now we just need to go to our bullet and go to the or operator and what we're going to do is add um, touching the box as well so we can select the inner color that can be fine and we'll just select or and then we can select touching the inner color as well so that the bullets don't go through the boxes and now if we can just full screen this and test this out we can see that we can't shoot through the boxes but we can shoot the you know the player this whole point and boom oh okay boom now they restart and they can now move after a few seconds because of the game not being active and the collisions work and just to make sure they can go through each other let's test that yep they can't go through each other but they can't shoot each other so there we go that's it for this video thank you so much for watching um, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the next video we'll be adding a score scoring system where the the score is tallied up each time a player um, destroys the other take and we'll add a winning once any of the players gets to two points so make sure to stay tuned for that and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it goodbye <laughs>